Shalom, my name is Yeshua Yaakov ben Avraham, and this is uh, my, na my name is Yeshua Yaakov ben Avraham, and this video is being made from uh, from Jerusalem. Uh, it comments upon uh, uh, Barak's Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania speech. Um, I'm a supporter of Barack Obama, and uh, and uh, the proof of it is that what I'm about to say is is uh, is to suggest uh, a better dialogic for his campaign. Uh, first and foremost, specifically, the economy, the economy, the economy. Uh, the requirement that uh, has to be uh, matched from words to deeds is that Barack Obama, uh, my blessed friend, you have to come up with a plan and a program uh, that's visionary for leading the American economy uh, and that will be the result of the new economic paradigm being brought to the uh, the Democratic National uh, uh, Convention, the DNC and in particular to the platform committee that with the requirement that the new economic paradigm will be made uh, uh, the centerpiece of uh, a new national platform uh, the result of the new economic paradigm model, of which I'm the author, I forgot to say that, uh, it's the integration of labor, replacing the division of labor, uh, will be embodied in world-class global technologic infrastructure that will be the uh, locomotive of the U.S. economy and the G9. In domestic terms, it will create um, tens of thousands of sustainable jobs a month from years uh, two, two and a half on through 15. Uh, the elimination of the national debt um, and a number of other uh, macro benefits. Um, the G9, it will require an investment of somewhere in the order of between four and five trillion dollars to develop. Uh, the G9 will partner in that investment. Uh, it will be amortized over uh, 20 years. Uh, but the most important uh, and significant uh, strategic uh, element of this uh, visionary project uh, is the fact that it will double uh, in the first uh, decade and a half the gross domestic product of America and triple it in the, uh, by the end of the, uh, the second decade. Uh, those are the, uh, the, uh, the macros of the econometric models that have uh, simulated the effect of the new economic paradigm. It identifies information as a new agent of transformation. The way to do it is to bring it to the, uh, to the DNC, uh, which is the Democratic National Committee, to its, um, uh, its uh, platform committee. It's already been sent, uh, and uh, uh, now I want to say one thing that I just heard in this speech that I think is significant. Uh, my blessed friend, um, Barack Obama, I'm talking to now, uh, you're talking to a conservative, uh, uh, I happen to know the area. I, uh, I come from America, I'm an American citizen, and I lived in New Jersey, and uh, I, uh, I also know uh, eastern uh, Pennsylvania, um, and, the, and the middle of the state as well. The western part of the state I, I don't know as well. But a statement that you made in your uh, in your speech is that uh, Iraq is a country that had nothing to do with 9/11. Uh, that is, uh, the smoking gun has never been uh, revealed, but um, uh, unofficially, uh, uh, I'm going to just say it in terms whether you understand it or you don't. Uh, We'll let uh, we'll let the events in history be the be the judge of it. Um, uh, in the, in Judaism, uh, I live in Jerusalem and uh, I'm a, a religious observant Jew. Since I'm the age of bar mitzvah, which is about 13, I've had what is called ruach kodesh, and that means that um, uh, when the continuum of uh, of the uh, of the meta narrative of the grammars of the living God speaking and the many ways that he does uh, uh, as a continuum throughout history. Um, I've been very blessed from a very young age to be able to, uh, from 
listening to learn to comprehend this meta narrative and this is called prophecy and we're told that there will be no prophecy until there is Mashiach and redemption uh, with the collapse of the local reality globally we're in the redemption now to answer more specifically I gave that as, as a background I received that indeed um, Iraq was not uh, its hands were not clean and uh, more particularly in the dark of night uh, Mr. Saddam Hussein uh, uh, provided uh, a very substantial uh, sum of money in the, in, the, in, the, in the neighborhood of around five million dollars uh, via suitcase to none other than his Kablan Osama bin Laden, although their divergent paths and politics in the Muslim world uh, uh, claims uh, there was no connection. This was the hypothesis and the belief of George Bush and uh, the heaven holds it. There is no smoking gun and there's no absolute proof of it. So before you uh, say that there, there was no complicity in 9-11, uh, from Iraq um, in terms of the Iraqi people absolutely this is correct if you say that then we agree 100 percent but in terms of the uh, the behaviors and conducts and the um, sponsorship of Saddam Hussein that's very much another question and uh, it's been answered uh, and I trust uh, very much heaven's answer and I'll just give you one reference uh, um, uh, in terms of how trustworthy uh, Hashem's uh, revelations. Uh, some three weeks approximately before tsunami, I received uh, that there would be a massive, massive water shock. I documented it, and I spoke to uh, a number of people, and uh, it was all just too fantastic for anyone to believe. However, uh, when there was the tsunami, uh, that was very much a different matter, and that was uh, December 26, 2004. And the people that I spoke to, they said, oh my God, is that what you were talking about? And I said, yes, indeed. So um, uh, we, we have to be humble before God. And I have every confidence in the, uh, the efficacy, the sincerity, and the humility of Barack Obama. Uh, so I'm making this uh, statement to clarify and to qualify that uh, when there is uh, so significant an event and the, uh, the amount of uncertainty that attends it, I would s advise um, caution uh, because um, Iraq's hands are absolutely not, uh, they don't have clean hands on 9-11. On I will say only one more thing in the context of Rokh Kodesh. I watched and observed very carefully the footage of Saddam coming to uh, uh, his, uh, his end and his hanging and the meta-narrative of his uh, facial expression, body language uh, expressed a confirmation uh, of the, uh, the fact of his complicity in being the, uh, the bankroller uh, with uh, Osama bin Laden as his Kablan and, uh, and uh, so we let it uh, uh, we'll just let it say that this is uh, this is an hypothesis uh, we have no smoking gun and no proof but I urge caution uh, and I thank you and we bless you and uh, come on Pennsylvania uh, the economy the economy, the economy jobs and Barak has got the new economic paradigm I've endorsed his candidacy and provided it to him. It will come out of the new the Democratic uh, National Convention of the Platform Committee. will endorse it, and he will deliver it. I am Yoshua Yaakov Ben Abraham from Jerusalem, and I bless you, and thank you very much for listening.